beyond what is happening in the city streets that we've seen thus far and in an estimated 23 of our 50 states tonight and make no mistake a lot is happening and damage is being done in some places today may be remembered by history in the worst way it may be remembered for an authoritarian turn as the president was pledging to crush the demonstrations and end the lawlessness across our country it turns out the reason we could hear the pop of weapons over his remarks as he spoke in the Rose Garden was because at that moment, members of our armed forces and police forces were moving forcefully against peaceful protesters so that the president could minutes later, quite literally when the air cleared, walk across the street to the boarded up national landmark that is St. John's Church, Church of the Presidents, as it's known. It was torched last night by protesters downstairs. The president went to the entrance and held up a Bible and said about our country, quote, it's coming back. He said it's coming back strong. And he added, you see what's happening. And tonight we indeed see what's happening. Here is some of what the president said in the Rose Garden this afternoon. I am your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. But in recent days, our nation has been gripped by professional anarchists, violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters, Antifa, and others. I am taking immediate presidential action to stop the violence and restore security and safety in America. I am mobilizing all available federal resources, civilian and military, to stop the rioting and looting, to end the destruction and arson, and to protect the rights of law-abiding Americans, including your Second Amendment rights. I have strongly recommended to every governor to deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers that we dominate the streets. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. The president talked to Vladimir Putin today. That was followed by a conference call with the nation's governors, during which he berated some of them for not cracking down on the violence that has marked some of the protest since the death of George Floyd. You have to dominate. If you don't dominate, you're wasting your time. They're going to run over you. You're going to look like a bunch of jerks. We're going to clamp down very, very strong. But you're going to arrest people. You have to try people. You have to put them in jail for 10 years, and you'll never see this stuff again. And you have to let them know that. We are very grateful to be joined tonight by the Reverend Marion Edgar Buddy, who happens to be the Episcopal Bishop of Washington. Bishop Buddy, while we have this conversation, we're going to show our viewers some of the scene, the tableau that uh, unfolded in front of your house of worship today, uh, which all of us, any of us who came to Washington as students for that first summer class trip, those of us who are history buffs and have read uh, about that terrific, terrific building and its history having hosted every president back to James Madison. The president shuts down Lafayette Square today, shows up in front of your house of worship, brandishing and holding aloft a Bible. What did you know about his visit? When were you informed? And what did you make of it? Thank you for inviting me to be on the show. Um, in answer to your first question, I was not informed. We were given no warning um, that the president was uh, making his way across the park to, to St. John's. I was sitting at home watching the news when I saw the images. Um, let me say that um, that he held in his hand the most sacred texts of our Jewish and Christian traditions, uh, texts that call upon us to love God and love neighbor, that proclaims every human being to be a beloved child of God. 
and exhorts us to live lives of uh, peace and justice. Um, and as you saw, um, or as you displayed it prior to doing so, um, he was um, he was preceded by a, a violent clearing of nonviolent protesters to make his way. And he was using our church as a backdrop and the Bible as a prop um, in ways that I found to be um, deeply offensive. And I felt it immediately necessary for us to disassociate ourselves from his actions uh, and symbols in front of, of St. John's Church. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.